Sabina, do I have to be a car nerd to become part of the Mercedes Digital Unit and who are the people who you're looking for? Well, I think you don't have to be a nerd, but uh, it is for sure that you have to be attracted by technology. And uh, it is for sure also important that you love a little bit what we have as challenges in our industry at the moment. We are searching for people uh, trying to help us in really shaping the world uh, in terms of being connected. We are having the autonomous cars in a couple of years from now, but also it's all about shared mobility offers and also for sure electric. Will the future Mercedes-Benz customer necessarily need to own a private vehicle? Well, I think we are going to live in a very, uh, for many, many years, in a kind of a hybrid function. We will have customers who are exclusively owning a car and who would also still love to do so. But you will also see that in particular those people who might have had exclusive ownership only, they are also seeking for some shared mobility offers. And therefore we uh, at least um, foresee that in the next five to ten years to come, we're going to have hybrid models. So that means we have to have both people who love exclusive ownership but also shared mobility offers. And why did you personally choose to work in IT? Well, I'm a person that really loves to be there where um, the technology is. So it has to be logic for me. I'm a very, very logical person. And therefore, well, IT is very, very logical. It's uh, coming to the mathematical roots that I have. Um, but it's also with regards to that business is becoming more and more digital. Digital is driving business in the future. Uh, and it, for me, it was really important to have somehow my finger on the pulse in terms of technology, but also, again, being there where the biggest transformations are happening and this is in IT at the moment. And what role do women play in your department or in your company in that sector? Well, I'm quite proud of having already 30%. Uh, so when I started about two years ago to work for the Daimler uh, AG, uh, we had less women in my area of responsibility, so I'm glad. So I kind of uh, pumped them into more than 30%. Uh, I, I think it's about uh, uh, finding the right people for sure with the right skill set. So it's not always a gender topic, but I'm someone who's really truly believing in diversity and therefore it's important that we get even more and more women attracted uh, in the tech uh, industries and areas. And what difference could women in tech make or why is it important that they go into tech? Well, um, without being too stereotyped, but uh, I think w women have a natural talent. We are empathic, uh, um, so empathy is a topic which is quite natural. And uh, we are often overcoming political discussions by bringing more the content in front. And uh, if you think about the new working methodologies, uh, we are working more and more in swarms, we are opting more for co-creation. Women can play a major part by utilizing their natural talent in again bringing the content in the front and not political discussions or in terms of hierarchy discussions. And I think here, here we have a natural talent and therefore I'm absolutely convinced that women need in particular to be in tech at the moment. And what would your advice be for women in tech? Well, I would advise that they uh, stay uh, who they are, that they believe in themselves. It's very, very important, even in very difficult situations, and that they are still daring to go and to leave somehow their comfort zones from time to time, not every day, but at least from time to time. And why is it important that a festival like this takes place or to support women in tech? Well, I immediately opted when I heard about the Edda Lovelace Festival, so I'm a big uh, fan of that festival. And I think it's about uh, utilizing the community. It's all about the community and by spreading this kind of word of mouth, uh, by convincing others to follow us. And I think we are often shy to do so. Um, we are less kind of dominant in talking about ourselves. And therefore, it was for me important to speak here in front of this fantastic community this morning, again, by helping to come kind of shake them in playing the same role. So bringing out this word of mouth that tech is a cool thing to be and therefore I hope that at least more and more women are spreading this word of mouth after my presentation.